What's up, YouTube fans? Today, we're going to take a look at the X Transbot's Andras Toon version, their version of a G1 Scourge from the Transformers movie. So here he is. This is um, basically the same figure. It's been repainted um, with this more metallic blue. It really is you know, quite shiny metallic, um, but it looks nice overall. Let's take a look at 360. Here's the back, pretty clean. Uh, this shell does really cover up kind of everything underneath. You do see the chest here in the bottom, but it doesn't matter. Um, we get the nice red details there. You have the that theme kind of throughout, the red dots. Um, these will light up if you put batteries in them. I didn't put batteries in. Really didn't want to bother with that, but um, these things are kind of <laughs> a little bit delicate. So I just didn't want to take those apart, but if you put batteries in, you get three lights plus this one on the front. This is a gun that pegs in, so if you don't want that in there, you can take it out. This is also painted metallic. Silver on the top and blue on the bottom looks very nice. Um, but there, that's what it looks like without it. You can also bring in the Target Master. So here's the Target Master. And you can peg this into here. And then if you want to, you can store the gun inside. You'd have to open up this panel. You can put it inside. I'm not going to bother with that, but you can store the gun inside his thing. Personally, I think this Target Master is one of the ugliest we've ever gotten. It's the same exact Target Master that they issued in the first version. So I'm going to just set that aside. We'll use this one instead. I think this one's a lot cleaner. Uh, you do have landing gear down here, so you can open these up. And he can sit on the wheels. This last one's a little bit harder to get out. You need a, a spudger. And you, just, you can put that one like kind of forward like that. There you go. He rolls on those wheels just fine. He does sit on that. Uh, he also comes with one other accessory, which is his stand here. You get this translucent stand that came with uh, several figures. I think Elagos and as well as this one. But basically there's a little slot, a uh, spring-loaded cover here. And you can put that in, slot that into the, the bottom there. It is a really tight fit, um, but it does fit nicely and it does look really nice on the stand. He does tend to wobble but you know you can kind of stabilize him. There he is on the stand. I think it looks really nice. It's nice that they give you this stand because if you're going to display it in this mode you want it off the ground otherwise it just looks like a boat <laughs> just sailing through the water. But this way at least it looks a little bit more like a spaceship that can go through uh, you know go through space. So I do appreciate this. By the way, this is all the same. Everything here is the same as the original release. Um, a little bit of a spoiler alert. Pretty much everything here is the same. There are a couple little fixes um, that they've made to this figure. But overall, it is a, a fairly, pretty much the exact same figure that they released. Uh, with obviously the change of the paint. You know, significant change to the paint uh, throughout the figure. So that's really it for this vehicle mode. Um, I'm not going to show off the, the lighting here, uh, but there's a feature there. There's one other feature, one other accessory I got in the box, which I don't know what it is. This is a little blue piece. I haven't figured it out. I figured out by the end of this review that we will, um, you know, use it. But for now, I'm not sure what that is. If someone knows, you can leave a comment below. All right, so let's get him transformed. First, go ahead and take the gun out. Um, this paint is kind of glossy. It does feel kind of, uh, I guess, oily, but it is a, a paint that can scuff. So you want to be careful with the transformation. You have to kind of go in order, otherwise you will uh, cause problems here. So go ahead and pull these panels out on the side. You can use a fingernail. I wouldn't use a spudger because I don't want to scratch this up, but um, that'll free up the sides here. So that allows us to take these panels out here. So go ahead and unpeg these panels from here. And there's just a little tabs there. And that should let you fold this out. Um, it might help if you actually fold this down and then you can fold this out. Um, this panel here, you can unpeg from the side. I believe, yeah, there you go. So unpeg that from the side and then just leave that there for now. We'll take care of that in a little bit. 
Right, and then you gotta take get it out from up here. So there's a little tab piece there. I didn't mean to pull it that quickly, but um, it's tabbed in here. Okay, so go ahead and get the other wing out on the other side. You can just set this down flat inside his wing there. Uh, but basically that's exactly the same, so go ahead and do that on the other side. We'll do that off camera. Right, now that we got the wings apart, we can work on the rest of this. So you can go ahead and separate these pieces here. And just fold that up. Same on this side. Make sure you get the, the tabs out from the bottom and then you can open this up. Uh, and you can push this back in. Right, now you've kind of separated. You can see how that's starting to look. You can pull this backpack piece away and give it a little push down here because you, you need to bend this but you got to get this down in otherwise you might scratch up the plastic. Right, so go ahead and fold this up, um, fold these in. Uh, and we need to rotate this entire piece, so rotate this around. And that's going to sit on his back. You can leave it folded like this. Um, I don't know if the official transformation has that or not, but uh, I tend to leave it like that. Right. So actually just leave this out for now because we're going to deal with that a little bit later. Right. So we're going to deal with the legs last because that's actually the most annoying part. So go ahead and take his arms out, very obviously his arms, and then fold them down like this. That's going to give you a little room to work up here. Fold the this piece up and then fold the head down. Then you're going to rotate this entire piece to the back. So you have the head, the face forward. And then over here, take this piece here and fold these pieces up. Fold these down, and then take the side pieces and fold those forward. And those should fit around his neck piece there. He does have a lot of movement there on the on the head, but this doesn't, doesn't feel so great. Uh, but make sure you get those panels um, all the way down. They should sort of peg in at the bottom of the neck. Right, now that we have that, we can take this backpack and shift that back in gently. Uh, actually, sorry, we forgot one step. Go ahead and fold these downwards, those light pieces, and then fold this up. Right? And you can leave it kind of out like that. Uh, the wings should be kind of angled backwards. Now you're going to take this entire backpack and shift it upwards. So. This is probably the best angle to show you. So now it's shifted upwards. It can't go any further than that. There is a piece in here um, that hits. So that's about as far as you can go. So it should be about that high and with this thing sitting in there. All right, we're in the final stretches here. We'll take the arms first. Go ahead and open this up. Flip out the hands. Typical masterpiece style. And he comes with those pretty in pink nails. Same on this side. Go ahead and open this up. Flip the hands out. Close that back up and then rotate his arm. Rotate his hand. So you pretty much got the entire upper body complete. Now we're going to work on the bottom part of the legs. So pull this apart. Separate those tabs there. Rotate the legs. Make sure you're not colliding with anything because there's a whole bunch of paint up there and we don't want to scratch that. Okay, go into the back. This is the probably the more irritating or annoying part of the transformation. They have improved it, but it's still a pain, even though they've improved it. So go ahead and take um, this wheel out. Just give you a little space. You don't have to take it all the way out, but um, rotate the leg about 90 degrees, or the knee, I'm sorry, 90 degrees, and then push, not the knee, this piece here. And then you're going to push this piece down. It has to come through this gap here. It's a very, very tight squeeze. Um, I think they've in increased the tolerance or the clearance there, but still, it's still tight. And it does not give me a good feeling getting that through there. I really don't like that at all. Um, so it's pretty much the same problem as the original. 
you know, poor, poor tolerance, poor clearance on, on that part. What's happening here? Rotate that foot a little bit. And then you should be able to peg, oh, sorry, I guess this happened by itself, but there's a piece right here. You're going to push in, and then lose a little gap, and then you can push this together. So there's a tab here and a tab here. Make sure you have them both inside, and then I should peg into the back of his leg. Right, and then you can put this down, open up the heel spur here, open up the toe. You should have something like that. And that's pretty much one leg done. So we're going to do this other one off camera. Here is Andras, all transformed up into his robot version and the tune version. So let's take a quick 360. You can see the paint, the details. You got a lot of metallic paint now. Um, he's dying for his he's, uh, Decepticon logo there. Um, but really nicely done paint. You've got the red here. You've got the metallic blue, the dark blue, the lighter blue here, the baby blue. He's got the pink nails like he had. Uh, he's got the metallic red on the feet. Going to the back, pretty clean for the character design. You know, it's not really X, X Transbots really didn't have much choice in terms of what the back's going to look like. He is a little bit back heavy because of all the uh, the kibble here, but that is mostly due to the design of this character. Um, all in all, a very good looking figure, a very good looking robot moan overall. So he does come with. Uh, some accessories. Actually, before we use the accessories, let's uh, take a look at his articulation. So the head is on a, and that's one of the issues. We still, this was an issue before, it's still an issue. These these parts tend to pop off, fall off. The back parts also tend to pop off like that. You do have to be careful with those, you don't want to break them, but they do pop off versus just cracking off. Um, but, continuing on, you do have a head on a rotation. Uh, he can look up a little bit, down a little bit. Uh, he is hindered a little bit by his his goatee. Uh, in fact, let's get close. And one of the complaints I have is he's got light up eyes, but because they didn't paint them, it looks a little bit dead. They're they're obviously red, but because they they're not painted, they're translucent. They look a little dead. Now I, I'm definitely going to color that, you know, a metallic red. Probably use a Gundam marker or something like that, but that is definitely a, a you know a f a f disappointment with this character. Uh, but you do get plenty of movement there on the head. The shoulders rotate all the way around on ratchets. It's out to the side on the friction joint. Rotation at the bicep, double jointed elbow gets you the full run. Rotation at the wrist. Individually articulated fingers. This nail is articulated, so you got three points of articulation on each finger. They are a little bit fiddly, I will say that. Uh, they do feel a little better than the original in terms of the fiddliness. I think they've improved the tolerance, but overall, it's very similar to the original. I would imagine over time this would get loose or would get, you know, a little bit uh, annoying to to mess with because it does tend to move very easily. But you can also do dynamic poses like that. Uh, you do have a rotation at the... I thought we had a rotation. Oh, yeah, we do. Rotation at the waist. You get a couple of clicks out of that. Your legs go up to there. Uh, you don't want to be careful with the paint there, but it goes back to there. Uh, both on friction joints and then out to the side on... Or sorry, forward and backwards on a ratchet and then out to the side on a... Um, friction joint. Just noticing that it does rub, so you really want to be careful when you get the leg up in there. Um, it's going to rub up against this plastic and it's going to cut this paint off, so you probably want to be very careful with that. You probably want to give it an angle and then do that. All right. Uh, speaking of that, you have a rotation at the thigh. You have a double jointed knee, although it doesn't get you the full run because of that, but you have this bend here and then you have this bottom bend too. So, and they're pretty tight, nice and tight. I remember the original was kind of loose. You do have ankle tilt, but unfortunately it is very, very loose. I, I wish this was something they fixed. So when you put the feet out, let's see, you put them angle like this, A stance, put them down, the feet don't sit flat. They, they push up and it's just a flaw in the design. 
I don't know why they haven't fixed that. Uh, you also have articulation back here on these, so you can get up to there. I would be careful because it is kind of rubbing, so just make sure you got some clearance there. But it gets all the way out to there, all the way down to there. And you can go in and out on that joint as well. So lots of articulation on this guy. I just, the, the feet really kind of bug me there. Uh, you can use his gun in this hand, so go ahead and take the gun. Typical tab system. That tabs in there. I do remember the original had trouble tabbing. This one tabs very securely, so they must have fixed the tolerance on that. Uh, you can also take his target master, and I believe you have to move this hand in order to get it into his hand. One of the arms for the target master has to get moved. Uh, but then it tabs in just like the other one, I believe. Let's see. Yeah. And then you can get that into his hand like that. Um, it's it's the not the best looking target master, honestly. I'd rather just not use it. In fact, it's not going in there. Um, but let's do his transformation so you can see what he looks like. So go ahead and open up the legs. And those are going to be recording all the way down. Open up the feet down here. The heel and the toe. You're going to rotate the body so that the handle ends up in his back. Bring the arms down. Bring this down to his back. Oh, I guess we had him slightly mistransformed. You're supposed to have this part out for the gun mode. Honestly, the gun mode is really silly. It just doesn't look good. I'd rather just leave him in his target master mode because he doesn't hold it well and it looks really bad. So you might as well just leave it in this mode because he looks better at least in this mode. So there he is with the target master. I'll just show you close up. He's got a red face with golden eyes. And then the rest is a uh, black plastic and gray plastic. Really quick on the Target Master's articulation, his head does rotate all the way around. You have the arms on two a ball joint and then a rotation here. So it rotates all the way around and the ball joint moves all the way around. You have a double jointed elbow that gets you up to there, mostly for transformation. Uh, no ab crunch or, or uh, waist swivel. Legs go up to there, back to there, out to there. Legs go the full range because of the transformation. The ankles have a little bit of tilt this way and a little bit of toe tilt and heel tilt this way. So pretty articulated, just not the best transformation. He does actually look good next to uh, Andros. And for a quick comparison, there he is with the Fans Toys Galvatron and the Fans Toys Cyclonus. He is a little bit small in this lineup. He actually comes up to... I'd say the middle of uh, Galvatron's face. So he's a little bit on the short side and also a little bit on the small side when it comes to his body. But this is the only masterpiece version of Scourge that we have. So, you know, what are you going to do? So final thoughts on this guy. Um, he looks really nice. He's got a very, very nice paint job. Definitely better than the original. I think it just stands out on a shelf. It's shiny. It's It's got the right colors. Um, but he's got a lot of the same problems that the original had. So the paint, um, while it looks good, you really have to be careful when you're transforming because there's a lot of collision. Um, they still have the foot problem that they had before. Although you get a nice ankle tilt, these feet just don't hold, and I, I don't know if it's maybe the, the joint they used here. Unfortunately, there's no screw to tighten. It's on a pin. I don't know why they do that, but it's on a pin, so you can't tighten that. So he ends up just collapsing on his own foot, which is, is very irritating. Um, and then the transformation for that foot is almost as frustrating as the original. A little bit better. I would I, Honestly, it looks like they made a little bit of clearance to help with that. Um, I forgot to talk about this detail. There is a little bit of a red, you know, detail there on the side. It kind of harkens to the Unicron sort of look with those little eyes, but um, that does look nice. Uh, so I do recommend it if you don't have a version of this character. If you already have the original version of this, then I don't know if this is really worth the increased price. Um, there aren't a lot of improvements other than the paint, so... Leave that up to you. I personally didn't have this character. I had an older version, and my my copy had a lot of problems. So I'm happy to replace it with this until we get fans toys. 
So that's really it for today. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Oh, hey, you're still here. Well, while you're here, might as well uh, take a look at this box. A little bit of bonus footage. So I believe they've redesigned this box. I don't know if this artwork is new, um, but I believe this artwork may be new. So there are some figures on here. You've got Motormaster, Springer, who hasn't come out yet. Cup, who hasn't come out yet. All their Stunicons over here. You've got, uh, yeah, Stunicon. You've got Savant and, you know, the version of Skids. Some older figures. you got Arcos and their Cliff Jumper back here. you got some other old figures. So, nice little thing there. On the side, it says, He who fears is already extinct. Whatever that means. And then on the bottom, they've got the Autobot Spike, which they still haven't uh, shown us any, I guess, models of it yet. We've just seen the renders. We haven't seen actual prototypes. Uh, that's really it. But thanks for those that stick around all the way to the end and watch this. Appreciate y'all. Thank you. Bye.